Hello everyone, welcome back to Savvy Looks, where I like to take outdated or damaged secondhand furniture and give it a whole new life. This week I'm doing a commissioned dresser that belongs to my client. It was pretty dinged up with lots of major veneer damage. Some trim on the bottom was completely coming off, but all of the drawers slid really well and it was a good sturdy piece. This whole project was very beginner friendly, so if you are interested in learning the basics of furniture flipping, this is how you do it. I started by removing all of the hardware and cleaning the whole dresser with the degrease and cleaner then rinsing it back with water. When I first started this project, I thought I'd be leaving the top drawers wood, but we ended up choosing to paint them instead, so you can just ignore this step. I did use wood filler all over this dresser to fill in all of the scratches and dings. Next, I mixed up some Bondo, which is a really heavy duty two part wood filler to fill in some of the larger gaps. This Bondo dries really quickly, so you typically have to work fast. There was one corner on the edge of a drawer where the wood had broken off, so I used tape and Bondo to remold the edge. I also used Bondo to fill in all of the other larger veneer damage. To fix this broken trim, I used some standard wood filler that I rolled into log shapes and then wood glued them in place onto the original trim. Then I used masking tape to hold them in place while they dried. Once they were fully dry, I was able to kind of sand them down and mold them till I liked it. I used my 5x5 orbital sander to scuff sand the entire dresser, which is when you kind of just roughen up the surface so that your paint will adhere better. And I used it to sand off all my wood filler. You can also do this step by hand if you don't have a sander. Next, I primed the entire dresser using my favorite Zinzer Bin Shellac Based Primer. I chose to prime this dresser because there was a lot of bare wood peeking through the original finish, along with lots of exposed wood filler, so I felt like the safest option was to prime everything so it had a more even finish, 
I also figured there would likely be bleed through, which is when you get discoloring in your primer or paint, which the shellac in the primer blocks. I lightly sanded between coats and wiped back the dust to get a super smooth finish. I did end up getting some of that bleed through discoloring that I was talking about. It probably would have been fine because I had primed, but just to be safe, I sprayed it down with some clear spray shellac to block any more potential bleeding. To paint, I used my favorite paint brand, which is Melange in their color Old Soul Gray, which is this beautiful kind of blue kind of gray paint color. And I painted everything on with a country chic oval brush. When painting, you just wanna make sure you're doing all your brush strokes in the same direction and try your best not to go back over the same spot. I find this paint is super easy to work with. It has really good coverage and self-leveling properties, so it goes on super smooth without much work. After about three full coats of paint, I was ready to top coat. Whenever I top coat over a dark color like this, I mix a little bit of my paint color into my liquid top coat to avoid a cloudy or streaky finish. Then I went ahead and applied about four coats onto the entire dresser using my zebra fan brush. This is my favorite top coat brush. And I also found that it was helpful for my final coat of top coat to use a normal household sponge to apply it. I didn't film that, but it was very helpful and I think I'll do that in the future too. Ready for tape removal time?
It was at this point that we did end up deciding to paint the drawers, but since I could now paint them, I did do some wood fill touch-ups and then went ahead and painted them just like the rest of the drawers. She wanted the hardware to all be black to match the rest of the hardware in her room, but first I wanted to clean them really well, just like with a furniture piece, so I soaked them all in distilled white vinegar, then scrubbed them all down. After that, I spray painted them black. I reattached all of the newly painted hardware and I freshened up the insides of all of the drawers using Howard's Feed and Wax and my Dixie Belle La Petite brush. Let's take one more look at where this dresser started. And here it is now. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and come follow me on Instagram at savvy.looks to see my behind the scenes. Thank you so much for watching.